that question? Yep, from I Irana. Irana. Yeah. Uh, yep. So, uh, do you want me to read it out loud? Kind of go there. So, uh, what books, ideas, people have shaped your product design views the most? I'm a huge fan of Basecamp. Thank you, by the way. And the unique UX decisions you've made over the years. Um, any advice for? Hang on, let me hit show more. Uh, any advice for looking to get better at building remarkable web products? You know, um, it's funny. There's a book. The first book I read on on sort of interface design is a book that's been out of print for years, and it's really, really dated at this point. It's called Designing Visual Interfaces. And, and the examples in the book are really old. They're like Mac OS 7 and stuff like that. And they're black and white. Um, but the ideas in that book, I think, are absolutely thoroughly current and will be forever because it doesn't matter what era you're in. You're always designing for people, and people are, for the most part, the same. Um, people don't want to feel stupid. Uh, they don't want to be confused. Um, they don't want to feel like they don't know what they're doing. Uh, you know, they, they want to feel important. Like they want to feel good. And and these are fundamental things. In this book, it really talks about designing for people, and it doesn't even matter that the examples are really old. So that's a great book that I'd recommend. In general, though, I will say that I tend not to look at my own industry for, for inspiration. I think that's actually the wrong place to look. Um, when you look at your own in industry for inspiration, you end up following and copying others. And if you look around at the products that exist, no matter what area they, they're in, you see a lot of products that look about the same. Um, a lot of things look the same in our, in our industry. And one of the reasons why is because everyone's trying to follow each other and copy each other. I'd much prefer to look at architecture for inspiration or art for inspiration or gardening for inspiration or uh, cabinet makers or furniture makers or car designers or watch designers. I'd love to look at those kind of people um, for inspiration because their ideas have probably not filtered into my industry yet. And so I can bring some new inspiration from what they're doing in a different field uh, and, and, and be inspired in a different way than going, oh, what is XYZ company doing who's competing with us? We should look more like them or, oh, should we be more like them? I just don't feel like that's ever a really good way forward. Absolutely.